Good evening. We welcome you here to the regular meeting of the West Valley City Council. Um, we call our meeting to order. We note that all council members are in attendance. A full quorum. We will begin our meeting with an opening ceremony and we will turn to council member Karen Lang for that. Would you please stand and repeat the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. a scout troop per se I think just everyone's just kind of visiting and uh, so we'll move on to our minutes the minutes of April 21st to the council Baron I move for approval of the minutes from our April 21st meeting we have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Okay. It's before us. Any discussion? <coughs> so, Councilman Vincent knows uh, I'm losing my voice temporarily. Uh, this afternoon, or earlier today, I lost it completely. So. A few times I'll have to take a sip of water to keep going. Seeing no discussion in place, the minutes for the vote. All in favor of the two minutes, please say no. Both opposed say no. Motion passes, the minutes are approved. We now go to our reports, ceremonies, proclamations, and report of the month of board. Councilman Nordfeldt, and we have a special little presentation. Thank you, Mayor. Um, if uh, so, that uh, the news story first. Don Hudson, Kim Fisher, and Dan Pope, good for Utah. So the trauma research, I think, is is one of the keys, a very important key, to understanding victims' behavior and understanding their memory. Last year, a detective from West Valley City and a Utah prosecutor began a quest to change the way sexual assault cases are prosecuted in our state. Little did they know, their new protocol would end up helping law enforcement, prosecutors, and victims nationwide. It's a story that's not only good for Utah, but great for the nation. This is Don. Attorney Donna Kelly and Detective Justin Boardman. four years ago have dedicated their lives to helping victims. But last year, they began a journey that would end up helping more people than they ever imagined. I think it's so important that every single person involved in the criminal justice system know about trauma. Donna and Justin say there's a communication breakdown in these cases. You didn't call the that one? No, I, I let everything in the house. And it starts in the interview room. Officers and prosecutors would see certain behaviors and, and victims would tell their story in a certain way. And it sounded sketchy. The stories are not told in chronological order, and there are gaps in memory. So they assumed that the victims were lying. But Donna and Justin say that's not the case. These uh, <coughs> survivors are not lying. This is actually the result of trauma. They say when someone experiences trauma, their primitive brain kicks in, focusing only on survival. Until recently, that information was unknown. It's not that we were doing something wrong, it's that we didn't know what was happening. So now that we know, we need to incorporate this research into our everyday practice. Donna and Justin created a one-page, easy-to-understand protocol that officers can use when they begin talking with a victim. Um, I, I don't remember screen. It focuses on the emotion during the attack instead of a timeline of details. We thought we'd get some pushback, but actually the opposite has happened. Different agencies of all sizes have asked us to come out and talk about it. 
They've been doing training courses across the state. Then they got a call from Jan Langbein in Dallas, Texas. She's in charge of the Conference on Crimes Against Women. What happens is this cascading effect where an officer from this city and that town and that municipality, a prosecutor, a judge, will hear this information and do their jobs better. 1,600 people from 47 states and three countries flooded downtown Dallas last week. And among the list of presenters were Donna and Justin. I promise you that you will learn a few things um, that you will look at things with different eyes. Now this is one of several workshops featuring Justin and Donna. They're teaching their protocol to law enforcement officers, prosecutors, victims' rights advocates from all over the U.S. We have folks in this course alone who are from Alaska, Arizona, Texas, and hopefully these officers will be able to take this information back to their respective offices. They did a great job. I really appreciate the way their presentation went. James Hammond is with the Dallas District Attorney's Office. He'll be taking this information back to his co-workers to help victims in this massive metroplex. It's something that should be taught early on uh, in the academy process and through in-service training. That is Donna's hope. If it helps officers and helps departments to understand what they're seeing better, um, it's a win. A win in the courtroom, but also a win for crime victims everywhere. Donna and Justin have been working with researchers from BYU for about a year. They're documenting the work they're doing in West Valley City, and they believe it will have a huge impact on prosecution rates. Now, we're going to bring you those findings as soon as they're available. Thank you, Jake. Um, this nomination was written by Nick Hells. He says, I would like to nominate Detective Justin Boardman as Employee of the Month. Detective Boardman is a great example of the many things that are going right in our police department. As featured in the story by ABC4 News, Detective Boardman has been working to improve the way that police officers take statements from victims of rape and sexual assault. He has been asked to train officers from many different departments as he has helped develop a new methodology of interviewing the victims. Evidence indicates that officers think that victims are lying about assault, assaults, but really, they are just victims of trauma and respond in that way. Detective Boardman has been training officers at national conferences and has helped officers from 47 states and three countries to improve their techniques and to take this trauma into consideration as they interview. Detective Boardman was honored for his efforts recently when he received the Visionary Voice Award from the National Sexual Violence Resource Center. It's only fitting that we honor his efforts as well. Please join me in congratulating our May Employee of the Month, Detective Orton. Thank you for being here tonight. Thank Appreciate you, the good work that you're Appreciate doing. It. With that, now we'll move on to our public comment period. And I received no sign-ups. There were no sign-ups. No one wants to speak tonight. That's fine. Then to the city manager, any comments? None tonight, sir. Thank you. Thank you. To the city council, any comments? Okay. Then to our resolutions. Uh, we'll go to uh, Resolution 15-73. This is awarding a contract to Cowboy Contractor Corporation. This is the 2600 South Ditch Piping Project. Uh, 
and this is in the amount of 185,000. That includes by uh, the plan that we have set up, even though the bid was 165,000, uh, they will stick with that bid unless there are some uh, mitigating circumstances and that allows for contingencies in conjunction with that. That's the issue before us, then to the council. Mayor, I move for approval of resolution 15-73. We have a motion. Second. We have the second. It's probably before us. Any further discussion? Seeing none, we'll place it for a vote. All in favor of approving resolution 15-73. The contract to Cowboy Contractor Corporation, please say aye. Aye. Those opposed say no. The motion passes unanimously. The resolution is approved. We now go to resolution 15 74 to approve a change order number eight. This is on the uh, Glen Weaver Memorial Park, and uh, this is in the amount of approximately $45,000 for some unanticipated issues there. Uh, additional retaining wall, uh, additional sod and bark, privacy slabs, and then also 0.23 acres of adjacent land was also added to the project. And that is to take care of finishing the Glen Weaver Memorial Park. And I believe it's getting closer all the time. Uh, isn't that about, we're within about 10 days or so? Uh, I'm not sure if we'll have the pavilion and the other pieces of equipment in 10 days, but as far as actual use or ability, grass, sod, all that's actually in place now, Mayor. So yes, we're, we're, kind of, we're kind of moving into this sliding open. Yes. Well, actually, the kids in the neighborhood, they beat you way, way, way to the punch. Yeah. They were over there playing <laughs> for the last, what, month and a half? They were there playing on the piles of dirt. Yeah. So, all right. With that, then, introduction to the council. I move for approval of resolution 15 74. We have a motion. Second. Councilman Rushton has a second. He's going to turn on his mic. Good. With that, then, any further discussion? Seeing none, we'll place it for a vote. All in favor of approving. Change order number eight on the construction of Glen Weaver Memorial Park. Please say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. The motion passes unanimously. The resolution is approved. We now go to resolution 15-75. This is to approve an agreement with North Jordan uh, Irrigation Company for the lease of 0.17 acres. This is located at uh, 3750 South, 3600 West. And it will aid them in the operations of the canal there. And this is on property that, this is the one kind of in the middle of the subdivision there. And it also, it will not impact the walkway that the kids use for getting to school. That remains in place. Then with that, to the council. <coughs> Mayor, I move for approval of resolution 15-75. Thank you. Second? Second. Motions before us. Any further discussion? Seeing none, we'll place it for a vote. I'm in favor of approving resolution 15-75. Agreement with North Jordan Irrigation Company, please say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. Motion passes unanimously. The resolution is approved. Next, we go to item number nine, our new business, the city manager submitting the 2015-2016 proposed budget. Thank you, Mayor. Um, each of you as a council has been presented, or as a council member has been presented the tentative budget uh, for consideration and possible adoption at our next council meeting next week. This also does include, by the way, the RDA, the building authority, and the housing authority budgets as well. 
we've uh, had a couple of discussions already uh, earlier in the year as well as earlier in the evening today and I'm sure we will continue to have other budgets about it but this is the next step in the budget adoption process okay, thank you any comments to council all right then I believe that we have no need for an executive session that I've been made aware of. So that concludes our business in this meeting. We mentioned that we do have our redevelopment agency, housing authority, and municipal bonding building authority uh, meetings to immediately follow this. With that then, one final motion for this meeting. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. All in favor of adjourning our regular city council meeting, please say aye. 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 Those opposed, say no. Motion passes unanimously. We are adjourned. We call to order the RDA regular meeting for West Valley City. Know that we've had an opening ceremony and a roll call all are in attendance. Um, we have the minutes from April 7th, 2015 and April 21st, 2015. Any discussions or a motion? Move for approval of two sets of minutes. Motion has been made. Do we have a second? Second. Thank you. All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. Any communications or report from the executive, chief executive officer? No, ma'am. Thank you. We have re one resolution, 15-07. Mr. Pyle, would you present that, please? Yes, thank you, ma'am. We would like to award a contract for demolition uh, services to Dynamite Demolition LLC. These would be for two addresses within the redevelopment agency that is located in our Fairborn Square uh, project area. We had six bidders on the project and are recommending award to Dynamite Demolition. Thank you. Any discussion or a moment <coughs> on the resolution? Perfect name. Yeah. Will they actually be using dynamo? I hope not. <laughs> I'm, guess, I'm guessing not. Seeing as how their prices were dynamite, <laughs> I guess I would move for approval of resolution 1507. Thank you for the motion. Do we have a second? Second. Thank you. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? With me? Thank you. Passion. The res resolution passes. Um, would you like to resubmit the information on the budget, please? No, ma'am. Maybe for purposes of the camera, I'll just hold up the same document again. It is included in here. Okay. Thank you. That is all the business for today's meeting. Do we have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Thank you. All in favor, say aye. 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 Motion or er, meeting adjourned. Uh, we call to uh, order the uh, regular meeting of uh, the Wifer City uh, Housing Authority tonight. Um, opening ceremonies uh, was conducted by uh, Ken Land early in our regular meeting, and roll calls the full quorum is uh, here tonight. Um, let's move to approval of minutes. We have uh, the minutes of uh, April 7, 2015, to the council. Mr. Chair, I move for approval of the April 7, 2015 minutes as presented. Thank you. We have a motion. We need a second. 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 Again, okay, any further discussion? Uh, none. And uh, all favor, please uh, say, uh, all favor of approval of minutes, uh, please say aye. Aye. And if opposed, say no, please. And uh, approval of minutes uh, passes unanimously. Item number five, a communication, and uh, number six, a report of uh, executive director uh, from uh, Mr. Pyle. Thank you, sir. No need for a report this evening. Okay, thank you. Um, number seven, new business, uh, executive director submitted the fiscal year 2015 and 2016 proposal of purchase. Mr. Pyle. Thank you, sir. Also included in the document distributed earlier. Oh, thank you. 
And we need one Mr. more. Chair, maybe, maybe it should be noted though that although the, the agency documents are with the city budget, that their final adoptions will be actually on different dates. Okay. So. Absolutely. In fact, I'll give you that specific date, which may be of interest to the audience. So our Building Authority, Housing Authority, and Redevelopment Agency budgets as presented tonight and adopted tentatively next week potentially are then scheduled for final adoption on June the 2nd whereas the city final city budget is not um, considered for adoption until August the 12th or I'm sorry August the 17th 17th 11th adoption of the budget is required by August 17th sorry yes that is the 11th I get it the third time there maybe Thank you, Mr. Pyle. Uh, with, with that, I'd move to adjourn. Oh, thank you. Uh, so, uh, motion to adjourn. We have the motion to adjourn. So, all favor, please say uh, aye. Aye. Right. Yep. We adjourn. Call the order the West Valley Building Authority. Um, uh, note that all members of the board are here and we've had an opening ceremony. Um, we need approval of minutes way back in. February, if you can remember what those minutes were, I need somebody to approve those. Move for approval of the minutes of February 3rd, 2015. So a motion, do we have a second? Second. A motion, second. Any discussion to those minutes? Seeing none, we'll call, call the vote. All in favor? All right. All right. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Uh, I understand we have no communications from our chief executive officer, so we just have the new business, which is uh, the presentation of the uh, budget. So we'll turn the time over to you. Thank you, sir. Also included in here and will be adopted as uh, recorded in the earlier comments. Okay, we have no other new business, so we just need one final uh, motion. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. 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 We are adjourned.